Have you ever watched Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? Queer Eye for the Straight, for the straight guy. guy. No, it's got a tongue twister name, isn't it? So basically, the concept of the TV show, this is for your purpose, because I'm pretty sure everyone else knows what it is. Right. It's where guys who are gay oh, slash queer go and dress up a straight guy and enhance his fashion look. Give him some style, yeah? Guys who are gay, actually gay, yeah, dress up as a straight guy. No, 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 no. no. They style, they're basically stylists. They'll yes. meet a straight guy in need of like a style upgrade or who uh, doesn't know anything about fashion or dressing well or whatever. And they'll go and like upgrade his life, like give him oh, like a new wardrobe out. and stuff. Yeah, like swag oh, him out, like, teach him how to dress, like etc. Seen in a Crazy Stupid Love, Ryan Gosling with Steve Carell. Sure, let's go with that, right? Yeah, okay. So one of the guys in there, he's uh, ethnic, let's say. No, he's, uh, I think he's Pakistani. His name is Tam France. Is he the, which one is he the, being dressed up or doing the dressing? Okay, I need you to understand something. There's like there's like five guys on the panel that go and yes. dress up another person. Yeah, is they all specialize in something. He's one of them. Yeah, yeah. He's one of them. He's gay. The ethnic person yeah. is gay. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fine. So he did a TV show on the BBC talking about skin bleaching. Right. And talking about making his making his skin basically lighter and uh, the struggles that he had with it. And I didn't know how big a market this is. I didn't watch it. Sanj watched it. She told me about it afterwards. Um, I knew skin bleaching happened, but I didn't know how it happened. But this guy was like, he really struggled with it. So he was bleaching his skin ever since he was a kid. Why? Hmm? Why? Because he didn't like how dark his skin was, basically. Okay. So <clears> and, is, um, it's a static thing. Yeah, he would bleach his skin until it was causing too much pain. He stopped and then he picked it up again, I think in his teen years. I might have got that bit wrong. But mm. now, if you look at him now compared to what his pictures looked like when he was younger... He was really dark. Uh, now he's very, very light, very, very fair skinned. So and he's just talking about how part of it is down to colorism, which isn't something I knew. Basically, colorism is being discriminated against by your own people in your own ethnic group. So say if you got a bunch of Sikhs, you got Sikhs that are on the lighter spectrum, Sikhs that are on the darker spectrum, and you have people that judge people depending on what color shade they are, basically. Shades and... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that, that, that this was a thing, and it's massive, man. He he was talking about how it affected him and how he was so he would go through the pain of just bleaching himself to make himself lighter. And he left the UK. He didn't like it, or he was bullied and therefore didn't. Like he it. mentioned stuff about being bullied and a lack of acceptance that made him want to do it so he could fit in. Yeah, uh, and he left his town. He hasn't been back. He only went back for the first time in the show. It's actually quite. It's quite deep, but. What I noticed was that skin bleaching is way more popular than what I thought. And did you know that there's actually a skin bleaching company? There's companies that specialize in this. Did not know. I mean, I remember I was in the aesthetic world. I've heard of hair bleaching. Like, yeah, hair, hair bleaching is standard, hair, but I thought... That, I've never... No. I've, I thought you would have known this, me. but yeah, to give people a little bit of a little bit of an idea, there's a brand in India. They used to call themselves Fair and Lovely. But they oh, changed yeah, it oh, to yeah, glow yeah, and lovely. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Fair and lovely, glow and lovely. Talks, yeah, cream la lo, But I don't think that's not bleaching, is it? No, it's a, it's, it's a skin lightening cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cream. I've heard about this cream. The it's a skin is, lightening when I, when cream. I heard, when I heard about it, I thought it was just, I know a lot of South Indian people used to use it, but I used to always think, oh, it's just clever marketing. It no, really people still anything. use it, man. Yeah, but does it actually lighten your skin or is it just... I, I, I don't know if it works or not. Yeah. I, I, I assume it does. What a name it. Fair and lovely. And now they've changed it to, what is it, Glow good and lovely? And lovely? What did they change it to? Hang on. Fair and lovely. What did they change it to? What did they change it to? Hang on. It doesn't know glow and lovely. What am I saying? Good and lovely, glow and lovely. Glow and lovely, man. So, and did you know, that, guess who owns them? Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to let you choose. I'm going to let you guess. I'll give you three guesses. Guess who owns them? Guess who owns Fair and Lovely? It's like, it's it's very um, unpredictable. Very ironic. unpredictable. Go on. Ironic. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit um, ironic. So it's a health conscious company. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like an eco-friendly brand? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It is an eco-friendly yeah. brand. Yes. I, I can't guess. I don't know enough of those companies. But Unilever. I just, I, huh? 
Unilever. They own it. They own it. Have they always owned it? They own it now. That's I the think question. they. I think they've always owned it. Yeah, but Unilever are a charity. Do you remember how they were like big on saving the world and helping people out? This isn't helping people out, man. It's fucking Improving people up, if anything. That's what, that's what they're saying. But again, yeah, you look at that now, historically, the connotation that fair and lovely is what you want to be. That's the only exception. Yeah, but like, why though, isn't it? Yeah. Why do no, people want to do that? Just, just. Yeah, why is it, fair? Because I, mean, I can see it within communities. So I don't know this, but apparently it's quite common in Desi communities to be asked, like, how dark is your kid when they're born? I didn't you, know that. I didn't but apparently that's quite common i thought that no way is that true but that sounds like it, the, it uh, made me think of that mega marvel shit harry when she was asking that yeah yeah, yeah it yeah, made yeah. me think of that and i was like mm. i don't know that happens in our communities too this is wild i mean the royal family is based on asian people <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah I've, ne- I've never heard that and why, why is that a thing like yeah like you said why is that a thing i think it's just a way to prey on people's insecurities man Clearly, it works. I'm not saying it should work, but it does work. It does work, but for what reason? Again, we've seen ten. It's just and and it's it's built in India. That's probably the biggest pool of people that you can have to advertise that 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 skin cream too, because everyone's going to be darker because they're in they're in the sunshine all the time. Mm, so to put that cream on, it's massive, isn't it? Mm. They clearly found a good market for it. That brand's yeah, it's been around for ages, man. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but yeah, uh, I, I need to watch that that documentary. But skin bleaching, man. Uh, even footballers are doing it. There's a footballer called Yerry Mina. He yeah. he he was really really dark. Um, he was, I think he plays for Colombia. So he was he was a a villain, let's say, in the Euro 2018 run that England had. Okay. Was it the Euros? It was the Euros. Yeah, yeah. Was it 2018? Anyway, yeah, he was the villain who was like trying to get England players sent off and stuff. And I saw a picture of him the other day. He's he looks he looks he looks the same color as you now, girl. Wow. Seriously, like really like light. I'm like, why would you do that? And the worst thing is about skin bleaching is that you can look at their knuckles and you can see what color they actually were because that can't be changed. It's quite difficult to bleach your knuckles because it's a different type of skin. Like quite a contrast. Yeah, so you can see the contrast in it. Mm. And when you say and we talk about fair and lovely as a cream, but skin bleaching, how, what do you, what do you, I don't know how skin bleaching works. I kind of don't want to know, but yeah. clearly there must be a, a how to list. Cause if this guy, Tam France was doing it all those years ago, it must be commonplace to just, just do that. Mm, but whether, whether he goes to a clinic or he does it himself or whatever. Or... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, there's some things you hear and you're like, because you've never considered it yourself or needed to consider it yourself, you just can't understand the context for needing it. Which is probably how a lot of people feel about a lot of issues. Like, yes, if you're yes. overly rich, you yes. can't relate to the poor. Like, mm. stuff like that. I think, yeah, I guess, unless it's yeah, I guess unless finance, it's on your radar, it's difficult. And finance is kind of, I'd say, more universal thing. Whereas I think this one's a little bit more niche compared to that one. A universal experience, let's say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's being targeted by your own community but the fact that you're too dark like what the hell do you do that do what what can you do like, someone says that to you what do you say like okay thanks for your feedback mm. i'll take it on board do you want to fund me yeah maybe no mm. <sighs> but i was going to ask you from a medical perspective sure. what what can bleaching your skin do to you basically can it really fuck up your skin good question I have no idea. Because Very I useful, man. I did not know it existed. I mean, what I can imagine is you can get unevenness, get spots, and then it will kind of look like a bit of a mm. got like, patches and stuff. I can imagine that if you don't keep it up, like the maintenance, let's say, you can have some sort of rebound issue, potential scarring, inflammation. I reckon scarring and inflammation. Mm. I don't think people bleach themselves all the time again and again i think it's like a it's like a one-time thing that keeps you that color that's what i assume it is because hmm. like, essentially exactly. bleaching is like it's the same way how if you bleach clothes if you bleach it the color's gone on it it doesn't come back hmm. you think it's a, okay so it's a one-off thing it's a big commitment then 
Well, one off as in, you know, you do it for a, a time period and that's it. A bit like laser treatment, I, know, I guess. You do it for like a time period and then it should be it should be done afterwards. Okay. Is that what Michael Jackson did? No, he actually had a, a, a illness. Mm, they say that. Vitiligo. What do you mean? Vitiligo, yeah. Which has made his skin lighter. Perhaps. Ooh, who knows? Do you not believe it? Do you reckon it's a, it's a conspiracy? Mm, mm, to be fair, I haven't looked into it. I've heard the conspiracy, but I haven't looked into it. So, well, now I'm you know sure. that skin bleaching is a thing. Maybe. Mm-hmm, maybe. I mean, he obviously had the resources to do it. Mm. And then some. Mm. But yeah, man, it's a bit of a dark one. I didn't mean to say it in that way, but it actually is. That was very unintentional. It was very unintentional. Pardon the pun? Yeah. Man, that's not cool. <laughs>